bit of a nasty day today as you can see so I thought I'd take this opportunity and give my classic old mower a background and show you guys how to do it. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Finally got this bad boy back from Josh. Could have at least washed it, mate. You know, I'm glad to have this back. Um, miss this old girl. It's a good mower. It does a good job. Now, these mowers are very, very common. A lot of guys have these. These are basically a Scott Bonner. This is my Rover, um, but same design as a Scott Bonner. So if you have a Scott Bonner, me showing you how to backlap this thing today, is gonna work for you as well. It's gonna work for most mowers if it's got a very similar setup. Most real mowers that is, you can't backlap a rotary, that'd be kinda of sad. So let me show you how to do it. So these are the tools that we've got. So I've got this little um, tool here to help just clean up the, the leading edge on it. On the bed knife, we've got some backlapping paste. We've got ourselves a drill, which I'll show you what that's for in a minute. And just a couple of odds and ends here and there. I'll show you guys once we get into it. Just quickly before we go into backlapping this bad boy over here, just to explain to you guys why you want to backlap or back grind, whatever you want to call it. So basically, your mower um, over time is slowly going to wear away at the bed knife, your reel to your bed knife, and you're going to find that over time you're not going to get a nice clean cut on your mower. So normally people send their mowers away or their reel and their bed knife to get ground. You know, normally the ground keepers can do it with. Um, like the machines they have, we can send it away to a guy that is a specialist at doing it. But you can extend your time between getting your reel and bed knife ground by doing a backlap. So backlapping is just some grinding paste that you apply to the reel and then it goes in contact against the bed knife which then makes a nice crisp edge. Now this is really just to extend your time so between getting a grind on the actual reel itself. So yeah. Good way to extend the life of it if you don't want to be sending away your reel every single year. Um, we do it at the golf course, we do like a backlapping program, basically just to extend the life of them because you know we can't send them off all the time because you need your mower for like half the year so that's the way it works. Alright so first thing we're going to want to do before we do anything is take out our spark, or we'll take off our spark lead to our spark plug anyway just so the mower doesn't start up. Um, and then we're going to want to lead it back. Yeah so I like to use the catcher. Right, I just want to show you guys this bed knife um, tool. So basically, it's just going to help clean up the face of this um, bed knife just here. So in on here. But using this little handy tool can help to extend the life of your, um, you know, from when you want to get the ground as well. Um, and the, the main reason I'd use this is basically to get any burrs out of that bed knife there. So if you hit a rock or something, you get a little dint in there. Instead of using a file, you can use this to get a nice perfect angle on that front face of the bed knife. So you get a nice, clean, crisp angle there so you don't get any damage to the bed knife itself and you get rid of those burrs. But I got this from the guys at Real Solutions, so I'll link the website down in the description and on the bottom of the screen just there for you guys, but handy little tool. Right, so let's start get ready to backlap. So let's take off this cover here. So what we wanna look for is this bolt up here that actually spins the bed knife. So this chain is attached to the reel which is attached to the clutch, which then obviously spins this bed knife. So what you want to do is get yourself your drill and one of these quarter inch bits. So you can get a socket on there. Quarter inch or half inch? Half inch, sorry. Slot that bad boy in there. This is a 20 mil socket for up the top here. If you can see, to make this spin backwards, you make it go to the right. Um, and as you can see, it gets the reel to start spinning. So, a bit of advice for you, put your drill on the lowest setting because it doesn't need to be going crazy quick to um, actually give this a nice sharpen with some backlapping paste. So when we are backlapping, we want to make sure this reel to bed knife contact isn't very much at all because putting some paste on, it's obviously going to, you know, make it really too tight when we're backlapping if we add some paste there as well. So we want to back off the cylinder a slight bit. Now, you can see that it is cutting along there. Oh, but not very nicely. That's not cutting the best. That's already, I can hear that it's a little bit too tight as well. So I'll just slightly back it off. And so what you gotta do is, you get your 13 mil bit, or your half inch, and just back off these little 
and that's just here. And basically, I'm going to turn these screws here to the left. No, right. To the left. So righty tidy. So right will bring up your bed knife, and left will bring down your bed knife. So we want to turn to the left just a little bit. There. And there. So that's still a bit tight. A bit more maybe. Do a quarter turn. And clearly, I have gone the wrong way. There we go. See how it's looser. So turn to the right, moves this bed knife plate down. And to the left, moves the bed knife plate back up again. So you want to adjust them down enough so they're even. Even Stephen on both sides. Let's bring it down a little bit more so it's basically just contacting. So turn it to the left. Let's go quarter turn there. Quarter turn there. So can you see here that we're grabbing just slightly on each edge? That bit of paper is just slightly being grabbed all along the bed knife. So I'd say that's pretty even all the way across. But it's not cutting, which it should be cutting when it's contacting like that. So now what we want to do is put some backlapping paste on there and go ahead and do it. So we're just going to apply this paste to the reel while that is spinning backwards with this. So it's going to be a bit tricky because we're going to do it with two hands. Usually you can get machines that will spin that backwards for you, but you know, we're not that technical here. Spinning backwards, Just grab the brush, other hand. So, what you want to let that do is just grind through like that for a while. Just keep it on, keep it rolling. And over time, you'll slowly hear that nasty sounds start to disappear quite a bit and that's when you know your paste has done its job. So you can hear that's not squeaking as much, not squeaking like making a bit of a raspy noise. So generally what you do is if you find it's grind out like that, um, if you don't need much of a grind you could get away with doing that once. So let's just see. Um, you normally wash it off first but my camera's just here so I don't want to wash it off. Um, but no, that's not right but you can see that's even backed off a little bit from what it was at before. So let's just slightly adjust it down. Turn to the left a smidge. Just a smidgey. And let's see if this bad boy is cutting now. Yeah. See how a bit too... So you can see here there's still quite a bit of paste in there. Um, so you can't really tell if that's too tight or not because there's paste in between there. But let's just give it one more quick grind. Right, let me tell you what, that's definitely going to be enough for this mower here. So I'm going to wash it down. I've made a dirty mess here. Um, but I've washed that down now, so let's just see if that's cutting properly. Looks nice and shiny anyway on the actual edges of the blade here. You can see that, it's got a nice shine to it. We've got a nice shine underneath here as well, which you probably can't really see that well, but I reckon it's gonna cut pretty well. Alrighty, so let's see. I'm guessing it's not tight enough. No, it's not, it's way too loose. It's not even contacting really. So let's just bring that down a smidge. Right, let's try it out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cutting on the in-betweens. It's a bit wet, so it tore. But awesome, so that's ready to go. So once we clean this off with the, all this paste as well, it should be cutting nice and crispy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and so you can hear how yeah, that's not really that tight at all. It's sort of just contacting. 
It's only just grabbing the paper. Which is what you want to aim for when you are back grinding or setting your reel to your bed knife in general. It's just not much contact. And just that sort of sound there. You see, this mower isn't very stable at the moment, as you can see. And for me to be able to move that reel so freely like that, means there's not much contact and it's cutting when it's like that, which is perfect. So it may take a little bit of fiddling around with that to get it to cut like that. Um, just keep adjusting it with those um, little adjusting screws just there. Um, it is fiddly now. If you find you cannot get it at all without the actual reel to the bed knife being really, really tight, it is time to send your reel and probably get a new bed knife away to get ground. That's when you know it's time if you can't back grind it and fix it up like that. So this should probably last me another whole season if I backlap this whole season. Um, but I'll probably have to start backlapping every couple of weeks because this has, hasn't has been ground for about a year now. Um, but yeah, it's a good way to extend between grinds because it is a pain. For me, because there's no one around here to actually do this, I need to send it up to Sydney to get it done. So for me, backlapping is the go because I can extend my time between grinds. Thanks guys so much for watching. If you have any questions again about that, make sure to ask me um, and I'll try to help you out with it. But not as hard as it looks, it's actually pretty straightforward and easy. You just need some grinding paste, obviously your brush and a couple of tools here and there to do it yourself, but it can be done at home like that. That's the most simple way to do it with these Scott Bonners, but yeah. Thanks guys so much for watching and you have a good week. Check out my little Tiff Tough patch on my weeds. They are dead. There's so many more weeds in here too than I knew about. Look at all this, everywhere. But it's all dead now at least. Sucker! Good day.